millions of years ago, before there was any stardom, or any concept of wrestling, or any, <clears throat> or any concept of wrestling, or any hominids at all, before humans ever evolved into the dominant species, there was a different age. The age of the giants. Yes, indeed, many kinds existed around the world, building mountains and shaping canyons to their desire. But eventually, the time of the giants would have to end as the dragons crossed into our realm. You know, like how history tells us. And all the giants were wiped from the earth following the scorching of the dragons. Except on one particular island hidden from the world, there existed the paradise of the Amazons. These Amazons were the mighty women of the time, respected for their prowess in the art of combat. But tragically, the Amazons slowly died out, and their once thriving islands all but desolate. Not because they invited men to their shores, no, because a warrior from the cosmos appeared, a dream of the stars. This warrior was born before time itself and fought the Amazons during the age of the giants. She, who was not a giant by any means, defeated many Megans in her day with her cosmic Halberd infused with plus three cuteness. Tam Nakano. As the age of the dragons faded away into distant memory, as too did the legacy of the dragons, who Tam Nakano persuaded to slumber deep below the Earth's crust until they are one day needed again. And with the dragons at rest, and new life springing from the primordial ooze of life, Tam Nakano decided that she too needed to rest, before returning to the world when she was needed again, this time to become a pro wrestler at the Actress Girls, before eventually crossing the fog into the world of stardom to become your tribal chief, she who built Tam Road by her own cuteness, the divine angel of cuteness, the stardom dream, the world of stardom champion, Nakano Tamu. But Tam didn't know that one Amazon survived the battle. This Amazon would eventually produce a line of Megans. Oh yes, the great prophecy dictates that a great Megan, whose baby of an existence resides inside the cuteness of one Tam Nakano. We'll cross the fog into the world of stardom and kill Tamu. And that's what the Megasus has done. Oh, the Megasus, not the Megasus. Yes, the Megasus has conquered everything in her path, tossing tiny goblins around and killing these women with a goddamn Meg 5. Oh, the Megasus will demolish Tam Road and build a Mega Road to a Mega City called Mega Sussington, where everyone will worship the new race of Mega Women of Megans. She traveled out of her home to become a wrestler where she lived in the combat warrior state of Ohio. Ohio. There, she fought another monstrous warrior, Max the Impaler, and Megan would eventually appear amongst the All Elite, but when TK denied her entry into his walls, Megan would eventually return back to her destroyed home of Themyscira and meditate until she grew stronger and stronger and became a Megasus, an Amazonian wall of women. And you know what's truly so fun about Megasus? Megasus? The name Megasus, it's so fun to say. Just stop this video right now and just say Megasus aloud a couple times. It's fun to say Megasus, Megasus, Megasus. Of all the phrases in the English language, of all the endless combinations of words in all of history that 
Pegasus. That's the most beautiful. And this Megasus is here with the worst villain of all of Japanese media. Their own copyright system. And Tam knocking off with her biggest test. And look, we all knew what the result would be. I'm sure many wanted Tam versus another stardom Joshi instead in a banger match. But amongst the fictional world of stardom, Megasus has dominated in every single appearance, killing Julia and Mina even. Megasus is a legit threat to stardom. This entire story has been the monster of the week style of storytelling. Nobody can fight this. This new monster, but perhaps Tam can. It's one of the oldest stories in wrestling now done by the cutest in the world. Let's watch as this cosmic warrior fights the Colossus. This gigantic woman is no joke. Tam attacks at various angles, but nothing she does works. Tam would normally slug it out. Nope, can't do it with her. Use your speed not to a wall of woman named Megan Bain, who can just easily let you in the air and just toss you outside to the floor of a plonk. Jesus, poor Tam. Megasus just killed Tam Knuckle in one single motion of dominance. Tam must crawl to the ring, completely crushed in spirit. She knows the battle that awaits her, but has to fight. But oh no, the goddamn Megasus, the goddamn Megasus. Oh, the second act of this match is pure Megan dominance, tossing her around and crushing Tam Knuckle with ease. As the stardom dream tries to chop the woman down, this Xena warrior princess just goes and just goes flying with ease. Tam with a desperate submission, but Megasus just crushes her like a Tam, and Tam lands on the god Tam head. Oh, but this is Tam knocking out Tamit. We must believe in Tam. She will rise with our cheers and take out the Megasus. Doesn't matter about the Megasus' strength. Tam is like Tinkerbell. She needs us to believe, and with enough believe, she will fly. Tam powering up into second phase knocking on mode. Her knee again, three times four, another knee. And she locks up the Megasus with the legs, squeezing the life out of this giant. But the Megasus escapes and crushes Tam knocking on. Time to die, but no. Tam free and rolls her up, but oh no. Megasus catches Tam and choke bombs her to hell. Oh no. Tam still alive. F5 attempt and into a DDT. Yes. Believe she escapes kick, but oh my god, what a power bomb! What a friggin' power bomb! But Tam still kicks out. It's gonna take your finisher, Megasus. You gotta kill her, and she does. She hits her with the F5. <sighs> but oh my god. Tam still kicks out? That's huge! Tam will not die! Not from any Amazonian woman! The power of belief powers her up into a German! And Tam Nakano into her third phase Nakano mode! For the one, two, a victory for the Tamazon! She overcame a colossal threat to the world of stardom. Megasus did a great job playing this colossal adversary and give her credit. Stardom gave a lot to her, made her look super dominant, crushing everyone in sight. And it was Tam who stopped her. The Tam, the mighty Twilight Dream. As she hugs her trophy like a child, it's like she walked into battle knowing she would very well lose. And it's incredible incredibly grateful to still hold her belt. Cosmic Angels is there to celebrate with her. This is why I like Tam. Her very long, drawn-out post-match performances where her makeup is super runny and she's covered in dry tears. This is what really drew me 100% into this company. Tam has defeated a giant and now realizes how big the world truly is. Tam has much more work to do but must rest as she asks us, is she ugly? Hmm? Hmm? Of course not. You're the cutest in the world. So that's the story of how Tam Nakano defended Tam Road from the Tamstrosities of Mega Megans. And now all the Tam believers in Tam Town can safely read the mighty divine Tam text of the mighty ancient Tam lore and send Tam tithings to your Twilight Goddess, your stardom dream, your Twilight Chief. But if you don't, she'll be angry. 
so angry. Look how angry she is. And special thank you to all my Patreon sponsors when you do this, like I'm commentating over the Megasys matches, which is kind of like this weird 1940s radio voice. I don't know how I came up with it. Anyways, here we go. We have Jeff, the Uptown Geek and Noah's Dad, Anthony Olinola, Siege, Renee Valdez, Issa Trace, Maddox, Justin Stein, Matthew Petrushka, and Yoja, Fu, John Doe, Aaron Stanwork, Eric Kaczynski, Kev Mullen, Adam K, Ray Konishige, Party Marty 520, Punk Ricks Videos, Mina Shirakawas, Boobas, Juggernaut Graphics, Shut Up Ingle Dot Wave, Ash McGee, Bargo, James 98X, Aaron Zacharias, 45222, Majin Kai, I Want Victims, JLA, Julia's sunglasses. We're gonna use this pair, but I'm running out of pair soon. Chiwa and Paul Doran Pickle Simer. Oh, look, Morty. Megan's turned into a pickle. She's a pickle, not the pickle. Thank you.